Welcome everybody to Brockton High Basketball. This is Miles Jackson along with my uh, partner Chris Bazil here at Staff Gymnasium this evening bringing you the best in high school basketball here on the South Shore. We've got Brockton High boxers going up against the Durfee Hilltoppers and Brockton High is coming here at one and, excuse me, four and one. And Chris, Brockton High has had a pretty good run so far. They had a stumbling block against BC High. Yeah, they had a stumbling block against BC High. They're coming off an, an impressive road, road stretch since December 18th. Yeah, they won their opening against Quincy, and that was the last time we were here. And they're just doing, they're just playing excellent basketball since then. Three, three big, three big wins, but that loss to BC High. But they'll do better. Yes. After that and loss. okay, Brockton's out here in their white jerseys, white um, shorts, and Durfee's in their red tops and red um, bottoms. Brockton High wins the top and. That's Diamond Blakely at the top of the key. Along with Todd Robinson, the other guard. Right now it's um, Brittle, and it's stolen. Good defensive play. And Durfee misses an excellent chance to get on the board first. Brockton comes back quickly. Back out to Robinson in the corner. And Diamond brings it back out. Todd Robinson looks it over, looks at the defense. Back out to Robinson, he takes a long pop. Good! Nice shot. He gets a three point on that play. Yeah, that was, that was good use of the shot clock. They were looking for Navon Reed inside at the, free, at, the, at the charity strike. But a better shot by Todd Robinson. So a 3-0 lead early on for Brockton. That's number five is Jaden Lewis with the ball. He's one of the guards. Goes into the paint and they get the ball back. Put up, miss. Rebound by number 35, Nichols. Brockton quickly, Todd Robinson, long bomb. Air ball, but Navon Reed gets it up. Puts nice. it back in on the rebound and gets fouled. Nice position by Navon Reed, Chris. Yeah, nice position, but looking, looking for the rebound after the missed shot. Kind of, kind of redeem Todd Robinson a bit. Yeah, Navon got nice position underneath in the paint. So he'll go for a three-point play here. Shot is missed, but he gets his own rebound in the corner. Hesitates back to Navon in the right. Puts it right up in the paint. Good defense, but he was able to muscle it in. Seven nothing boxes early on here in the um, game. Great use of Navon's body. That's Lewis. Drives in, dishes it off underneath, but blocked, and they're gonna call a foul on Diamond. Blakely. Good defense, but he just caught the looks like he caught the wrist there. Yeah, if I if I was if I was Diamond, I'll complain a bit about that one too, because of my height. <laughs> yeah, we'll see it here on the replay. Yeah. Little ticky tack, but he did yeah. catch the um, wrist a little bit, the arm there. At the free throw line is Elijah Coleman, a junior, playing center this evening. Misses his first free throw attempt. And second one does not go in, in and out. Back quickly comes the boxes. In the corner, the box is moving the ball well. In the corner again, there he goes, Brittle. Shots in and out. Ooh. And Nichols fought for it, but he lost it, so it's yeah. um, Durfee's ball. It was good ball movement, a good shot by Brittle, but just rattled out. Like boxes are playing man to man defense. Long three is no good. Rebound. Boxes. That was Biddle. He comes down quickly, dishes it off to Robinson. Inside to oh. Nichols, and he's fouled underneath. And nice, again, nice ball movement was, there, Chris. Yeah, again, that's again, great ball movement. 
Yeah, Viking Nichols had a big game against Holbrook, one of the one of the leading scorers for Brockton High in that in that 87 to 46 victory against Holbrook. So he'll get a chance to add some points to this game. So Nichols at the free throw line. He's a senior. By Kim Nichols. He'll be a big factor this year for the boxes inside the paint. He's yeah. got some good, solid weight on him. Yeah, he's already been doing it all throughout the whole season. I just, I love his playing style. I love his demeanor. I love his play. He's a great, great kid. Nope, doesn't mind mixing it up underneath. Durfee gets cross court in the paint, fade away, no good. Taken lately, one, uh, got the rebound, excuse me. Nichols got the rebound, but lazy pass, and it was stolen by Durfee, and they're on the board for the first time. Ooh. And they're gonna call a jump ball. Yeah, yeah, Coach Bowen's just a little fierce at Trenton Biddle, a little, yeah, a, bit of, a bit of a lazy pass. Yes. He's got to make sharper passes. Score boxes nine. Hilltop is seven, excuse me, Hilltop is two. Seven point lead by the boxes. Try to get inside, but no kick. Great. Wow. Shot is no good. Rebound. Yeah. Navon Reed, yeah. and here he comes. Goes in the paint, goes up strong, and just misses. Gets his rebound. Back up again, and it's nice. good. Navon. Nice hustle by Navon Reed. Yeah, nice hustle by Navon Reed. A quick start to this game. Six points already. Partially blocked by Navon. Shot taken. Air ball by the big man there, Ariel. In the corner, back to Reed. Back out, inside, wow. nice, nice. Again. Nice pass by Robinson yeah. inside to Nichols. Yeah, that's Todd Robinson's game, his playmaking ability. I just love that, I love seeing that from him. Let me find, um, found the dish for Viking Nichols. 13, two boxes. 3.30 left in this first period, first quarter. And here come the boxes, good defensive play. Navon Ooh. tries to get it up and just, just misses. And it'll be Durfee's um, ball. Yeah, Todd Dur Robinson splitting the defense, Viking Nichols in the post. Easy money, easy layup, two points. Yep, you found the open man. And there's a timeout. Durfee calls a timeout with three minutes, 14 seconds left in this first quarter. Boxes lead 13 to two. Yeah, the, the boxes lead 13 to two. Pretty much flawless basketball from the boxes. A tremendous starting five that they have right now. They gotta keep it going. Yes, and, and the last time we was here, first home game against Quincy, when the boxes bench came in, they never missed a step. Yes, that's exactly what happened. And Zenden Carrera, who's actually on the bench, once he's probably inserted in the game, I think this game could be over quickly. And, and I mean that for the good side, for the boxers. Because Zenda Correa had a, because Zenda Correa was actually injured the last game we did. And this game should be, this game should be in Brockton's favor throughout the whole game. Yeah, Zenda Correa has got a lot of height on him. He's a senior. I, yeah, but I, I believe he's actually about 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, in that range. Yeah. And he's going to get a chance to play. Yes, he's actually in, number 15. So Zenden Korea and number 34, Raymond Bento, is in the ball game. And also number 12 for, uh, number 22 for the boxes. That's Isaac Lane. And number 31 is the whole, everybody except for uh, Todd, Todd Robinson and Durfee makes the shot. Yeah, that was actually that was actually number twenty-three, Jerry L. Rivera. Stolen by Durfee. 
blocked by Korea. Back come the boxes. Todd Robinson. Oh, wow. And he oh, tried to man. get a little fancy and didn't put it off the glass correctly. And nice shot over the big man, number 20. Jason Hall for a Durfee, and we've got 13-6. Boxers are leading. Todd Robinson, no good off the rim. Rebound boxes, long three, no good. That was uh, shot by number 31. Noah Alolu, Alowu? Yes, yes, Olowu, yes. Olowu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Durfee played good defense on that possession against, against Brockton. Brockton was a little confused on that offensive possession. Hey, two minutes, 10 seconds left in this first quarter. Durfee working around out top, around the rim. Blocked by Korea. That's his second block of the game. And they're gonna call a foul on, uh, is that on number, I'm not sure who they called that on, number two? Number 22? Makes his first free throw attempt. Okay, this is actually number 35 out the line, Elijah Coleman. And Coleman makes both free throws. <laughs> Sub coming in for Elijah Coleman. Alou with the ball out top. Low back in, tried to get it in the middle and it was stolen, not a good pass. And good defense by the boxer guards yeah, there. Quick, quick, quick defense by the boxers. Number 10, Jason Starks, who's in. Just smothered him and uh, Alohu, smothered the ball carrier and it went off of him and, and out of bounds. Korea, 34, no good air ball, but there's Starks right there for the, oh, he missed Ooh, it. Wow. Nice and Korea gets the shot, redeems the boxes offense right there. That was too easy for Starks. Yeah, that was a bit of a blunder for Jason Starks. Gotta, gotta refocus a bit. And they're gonna call a foul on number 34. Bento. Bento with the body. So that'll be Jaden Lewis at the, at the free throw line, a guard who's a sophomore for uh, the Hilltoppers. 50 seconds left in this first quarter. And he misses his first free throw attempt. Makes his second free throw attempt. Gives the boxes a six point lead, 15 to nine with 46 seconds left. Long bomb by Starks, no good. Rebound Bento. Nice little dish oh, off, Starks nice makes pass. it this time. Nice dish off by number 22, Isaac Lane. He saw the open man, Starks. Right underneath, Ooh. nobody there. And travel. yeah, that's travel. That was, that was travel. If the travel was on number 20, that was um number 20, Jason Hall. Yeah, that was but that was that was clueless defense by the boxes though. They got to keep their heads yeah. on their head. They got to keep their heads yeah. up. That was really bad defense. That was an easy bucket for Durfee. Right now, the the bench for Brockton is a little bit tentative for some reason, making a lot of mistakes. 
And they're gonna let the clock run down. We're under eight seconds. Korea goes into the paint, drives, misses the shot. Well, actually, he was blocked, good defense. And time has run out here in the first quarter with the boxes leading 17 to nine. And Chris, again, like I said, when that second, um, second unit came in, they were a little bit hesitant. Um, they lost the ball a few, number of times, um, but uh, they did get a few shots in, but uh, they didn't look quite as crisp as they did against that Quincy team. Yeah, I think I think the reason for that was um, the step up of Durfee's 2-3 zone. They really could not score in the 2-3 zone about the last seven possessions or so. They really couldn't figure it out. Durfee really stepped up their defense. They, they created about three steals on the following possessions. Durfee did a great, great job closing this first quarter deficit. Great yeah, job. Yeah, Durfee took advantage of the second unit in there and, and got a few baskets to get a little closer to down. As you see, eight points. Um, and they're gonna have to do that because it looks like when the bo boxers starters are in there, um, Durfee doesn't have a lot to answer for. Yeah, that, yeah that'll be an interesting answer too. Um, Durfee's bench against Brockton's bench. Yeah, but Brockton certainly already has the better player, obviously. Yeah, they definitely have the better starting lineup. But uh, Coach Bowen likes to use his bench. And I'm sure once they get warmed up, they should be okay. So Brockton will take the ball out at half court starts. A low over the back to low. Korea inside the Beto, nice pass. Nice. Bento takes advantage, and nice pass by Zenden Korea. And three point shot by Durfee. Nice answer right back on the open three for Durfee. Long shot by Isaac Lane, no good. Fox is putting on a press. Yeah, I think the press. I think the press is a good answer for the boxers against this Durfee offense. Against this Durfee offense, it's a good idea by Coach Bowen. Stolen. Oh wow. Blocked. Nice defensive play there by. Zending Korea and back come the boxes. Stocks, no good. Rebound Isaac. and a foul. Rebound by Isaac Lane. Nice position by Isaac. He was right there, put the ball back up, and he was fouled on the play. Isaac Lane's looking impressive so far early on in this game. Making making Coach Bowen proud. Already, already, already one assist early on. Isaac Lane, a junior for the boxes. Yeah, Isaac Lane's a very mature person, mature kid, very, very mild mannered. Won't, won't get much out of him. He's a good kid. So he makes the three point play. Shot no good by Hilltoppers. Here come Isaac. Out top, back to Isaac. Tried to work it inside, but not a good pass. Zenden Korea did not have it. Somebody tall like Zenden, you need to throw up high. Yeah, that, he can yeah. jump up and get it. Don't put it because you give the defense a chance to steal the ball or block the um, yeah, pass. That, yeah, that bounce pass was a bad idea. Yeah. Yeah. Shot is good, three-point play by Durfee. But when you have a tall man like Zenden, throw it up high. Let him jump up and get exactly, it. Because nobody will have a chance to exactly distract him. In the corner. Isaac, long three, good. Nice shot. Isaac, Tw Isaac Lane already with six points. 25, 15 boxes. And it'll be Durfee's ball. Number 25 for the boxes, that's uh, Xavier. 
little acting job and the referees didn't go for it. Try to get a charge. Shot hits the backboard, no good. Back come the boxes. In the corner and he was out of bounds, he stepped out of bounds. Xavier, when he got the pass, he was ready to drive to the, excuse me, drive to the basket, but he was out of bounds, stepped out of bounds. Mavon Reed is back in the game. Along with Diamond Blakely. Ooh. Shot is blocked. Good defense by the Hilltoppers. Wow. And they're gonna give it to Brockton. Good defense there. The uh, ball player really had nowhere to put the ball. Yeah, that was good redemption by Benoit and Xavier after getting blocked by the three on the three. Ca yes. Caused the turnover. Yeah, number 12, Jason Perry. I think this is a game he's going to have to show out a bit. Brockton's going to need him. Navon in the paint. Goes up strong. No no call. And he missed a shot. But it was good defense. But it looked like there was, there was some contact. But no whistle. 4.56 in this second quarter. Long three is no good. Rebound by Xavier. Here come the boxes again, Navon. Gets it back out top. Blakely look, goes up strong. Shot miss by um, Navon off the glass, in and out again. Boxes with good offensive rebounding but just couldn't finish, uh, finish the play. Oh, wow. And they're going to call a foul on Navon. Oh, and excuse me, on uh, Xavier. Yeah the, boxes, yeah, the boxes are getting some good field goal, some clean looks, but Durfee's defense has just been pretty good, pretty active against their offense. Boxes with a 10 point lead with four minutes and 17 seconds left in this second quarter. First free throw attempt is missed. And they're gonna make uh, the free throw shooter take off his extra wrist attire. He gives it to the coach and he's back at the free throw line for a second attempt. Shot is missed, but rebound by Durfee. And they're gonna call a foul on 33, Navon Reed. Navon's a very aggressive defensive player. Yeah, very aggressive defensive player. That's his game. He's an all-around player. Shots off the rim, missed. Xavier with the rebound. And back come the boxes. They get in the corner, Navon. Spins, goes to the basket, and he is fouled. Nice spin move by Navon Reed to the basket and he gets fouled, so he'll have, I believe, two free throw attempts. We see here Navon and his athletic skills. Spins around the defender, goes in strong, and is fouled. Looks like by number zero, the big man, Ariel Piera, Perrier. And back comes number 35 into the game is Nichols. And Xavier will get a rest. Free throw attempt is good. Twenty-six, fifteen boxes with three fifty-two on the clock. Boy, when that first team is out there for the boxes, Chris, Hilltoppers really have a tougher time yeah, um, yeah. trying to work their offense. Yeah, they really did. That's what. That's how Brockton got out to that huge lead, and then Durfee kind of closed out on them. So there's a foul on the play. 
Um, Trenton Biddle will go to the free throw line to shoot two. Yeah, both of these teams with five with five fouls each. So, it's, um, so both of these teams are, are pretty close to the bonus, which is which is seven fouls. So I think we're going to be seeing a lot of free throw action in, in, in this game. Trenton Biddle, a senior here at Brocken High, makes his second free throw attempt. To the basket, no good. Good defense by the boxes, and here they come. Not a good pass by Thompson. Todd Robinson. Excuse me, Todd Robinson. And Hilltop has come back. Hilltoppers are working it around. Martinez with the ball. He tries, dishes off. He's smothered. Martinez takes the shot with no seconds left, and it's Brockton's ball. Good defense there. The shot clock ran out. Yeah, yeah good defense. Shot clock violation. Brockton, Brockton needs more of that for the, for the remainder of the game. Wow, both, wow, wow, not Miles. The offensive... This game has really slowed down offensively. Wow, it's crazy. Yeah, we got pretty, a long way to go. It's pretty awe-inspiring to see. Chris, still two minutes, 39 seconds left in the second quarter. Then we got the halftime, and then two more quarters of Brockton High boxer basketball. Todd in the corner to Biddle. Diamond Blakely looks, shoots, just off the uh, rim, and he gets it back. Fresh 30 second clock, he goes in the paint, slap back, still has it. Oh wow. Oh. And finally, they're gonna call a foul. Great hustle by Diamond Blakely. Great hustle by Diamond Blakely, that's his game. Hustle, hustle and heart and when awareness. You, when you're one of the smaller guys out there in the court, you have to hustle. Exactly, exactly. And that's what he does. And so he'll be rewarded with two free throws. First one is good. Yeah, Miles, tell me about Diamond Blakely's older, older brother, Jalen Blakely. He actually played on the Brockton High team. Tell me about him. His, yeah, Jalen Blakely, good ball player, real steady. And um, it's nice to see his uh, little brother come out and get on this Brockton High basketball team and continue the, um, the Blakely tradition. That's cool, yeah. So he makes two free throws. 29-15 with two minutes, nine seconds left on the clock. That's Jason with the ball at the top, dishes off to the forward, inside to the big man. Nice. Shot is good, good play right there. Great play. For great, the Hilltoppers. Great setup for Ariel Pereira, number zero. Long bomb is Toss. no good. Diamond Blakely with the rebound. Todd Robinson, back to Blakely. In the corner to Biddle. Tries to, he dishes it off to oh, the big man. Wow. Like him, Nichols. Nichols, nice play by the boxes. Oh. Durfee with the um, offensive rebound, back out top. Inside the paint, drives. Shot is no good. Long pass. Biddle spins. In the corner, Diamond Blakely. Shot is, hits the rim, but he gets his own rebound. Oh, Lays nice. it up and in. Nice, Diamond. Great job by, you don't see that a lot with the kids this day and age where they shoot their shot and they don't follow it. But Diamond Blakely followed his shot and he got rewarded with the offensive rebound and put it right back up for an easy two. Great, great, great. Great ball movement by, by Brockton and great hustle by Diamond Blakely, yeah, and, as and we said earlier. Right, and, and the, young, the younger kids, you might see it here on the replay, that's what you gotta do. You take the outside shot here, you go follow your shot like Diamond does. Because you don't always, there's no guarantee you're gonna make the shot. Exactly, and he, yeah, exactly, and he bewildered the, um, the Durfee defense as well. They didn't think he'll, he'll chase it. So exactly, because this, day, this huh? day and age, the kids don't wanna follow the shot. They think every time they shoot an outside shot, it's gonna go. Exactly, yes. So it's a 33-17 score with one minute and one second left on the clock here in the second quarter. 
of this boxer basketball game going up against their old big three rivals, uh, Durfee Hilltoppers, and no. No, there's no more big three. Yeah, there's actually the Southeast Conference, which yes. is, includes Durfee as well, so. Okay. A rivalry, still a rivalry, yeah. Good defense by Todd Robinson. So it'll be Hilltoppers ball. Sebastian Class inbounds inside the paint. Shot is blocked. Wow, Viking Nichols. Nice yes. block. Nice block by Nichols. Good timing. Todd Robinson with the ball. Diamond looks. Todd Robinson with the three, no good. Oh. Navon Reed right there in the paint and gets his rebound. That was a heck of an offensive rebound by Navon Reed in the middle of the paint. Nice job by Navon. Durfee tries to dish it off in the paint, smothered. Oh. Diamond Blakely is rewarded with a jump ball. And it'll be uh, Durfee's ball, possession, Durfee, but good play by Diamond Blakely. And Todd Robinson over there to smother the defender. 20 seconds left on the clock. Shot clock is off. So the Hilltoppers can either run it down or they can go ahead and try to get a shot off probably whenever they can. In the corner, long three is no good. Rebound Durfee. They get it inside, oh, blocked wow. by Navon Reed. Reed. Biddle. Back out to Diamond Blakely. Oh. And they don't get a shot off. Little communication um, miscue right there. Yeah, yeah, Diamond Blakely should have took the shot. Or Todd Robinson. They, were yeah. both, they both had good looks. Yeah. yeah, they both had good looks. Once, it's, if anything, once Diamond got it, he should just put it right up because he only had a second or two to get a shot off. And he decided to try to um, drive to the basket. Yeah, he wanted, he wanted an easier look, but it was already good what he had. Yeah, so um, you saw the, what happened there, uh, Coach... Um, Coach Bowen put his second unit in there. Hilltoppers got back in a little bit, but then it was time for Coach to put his first string back, back in there. And of course, you can see the score right there. They took control of that ball game in that second quarter. Yeah, that was the real. That was the big difference. The first, the first rotation, the, and those guys really did the good, really did the job for Brockton, and they should be happy about this halftime. All right, so we'll come back with third quarter action in a moment. I'm Miles Jackson along with Chris Bazil. We'll see you in the third quarter. Welcome back, everybody, to second half action. I'm Miles Jackson, bringing you all the action here at Staff Gymnasium, along with my broadcast partner, Chris Bazil. And Chris, Brockton really controlled that basketball game in the first half. Um, second team got in there. Hilltop has got a little confidence, got within 10, eight or 10 points. But once the first team went back in there, it was shut down city with Brockton's defense. Yeah, what, yeah, what it was, it was really the first rotation. They really did an outstanding job. By Kim Nichols was huge. Viking Nichols had had five points in the game. Navon Reed has eight. Those were the and you, you could obviously see the physicality is the the physicality is the big difference. Brockton is a lot more bigger than these kids, other kids from Derby. Yeah, and, and Brockton really controlled the boards offensively and defensively, which makes a big difference in a basketball game. Yeah, exactly. Physicality and body has to do with rebounding. So there you go. All right, so Brockton will take the ball out at half court here in the third quarter, 35-17. Boxer lead, right now a comfortable lead, but of course, you know, Brockton never lets up. They got a tough defense. Right now they're playing 2-1-2 offense with um, Navon Reed in the middle. And Durfee gets the ball, knocked out. Yeah, that was a turn of Trent and Biddle. Yeah. Trent, Trent's kind of struggling today. He's a little, a little off of it today. Durfee gets it out. Boxes again with a man-to-man um, -man defense. Well, it's like man-to-man -man defense, yeah. And nice, nice move inside underneath by number 35, Coleman, Elijah Coleman. Looks like underneath to Todd Robinson, oh. nicely blocked, but he gets his own rebound missed. And it's going to be Boxers' ball. Nice hustle by the Boxers. Good defense by the Hilltop is making it tough for the Boxers to get that to get those two points underneath. 
in the corner to Todd Robinson. He drives to the basket hard. Nice. Lays it up and in. Nice job by Robinson. Fox is up 37-19. Shot from the outside three is no good. Rebound boxes. Here comes Blakely. And it's stolen. You don't see that too often. Blakely getting the ball stolen from him. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty that's pretty rare from yeah, Diamond Blakely. You don't see that rare, too often yeah. from Diamond Blakely. So that's number five, Jaden Lewis. I believe shooting shooting for a three point play. I believe he made that shot. Yes, he did. Yeah, Jaden Lewis is actually a sophomore. He's been one of the more important players for Durfee yes. so far in this game. And that's saying a lot for Jaden, sophomore guard, starting guard for a varsity team. Ooh, nice jump shot there. Robinson makes the two. A stop and pop. Yeah, Todd is looking good. Seven points so far for him. Hilltoppers try to get it underneath and they lose the ball. Good defense by, box, by yes, the boxes. Yes, good defense by the boxes. Yeah, we said it. We said it earlier. That this boxes starting five is certainly, certainly the difference maker. Certainly the difference makers in this entire state. So let's see where this five could take them. Biddle, and they're gonna call travel on Biddle. And it'll be Durfee ball with 5:58 left in this third quarter. This is BCA Sports. I'm Miles Jackson along with Chris Bazil here at Staff Gymnasium. And we'd like to wish everybody a happy new year. Shot is nice defense by uh, Nichols. Back comes the boxes, Diamond Blakely stop and pop in and out. But strong rebound by Navon, puts it up and good. Nice shot by Navon. Navon fought for the offensive boards, got it, and made the little tough uh, fade away. Uh, oh. And they're going to call a foul. I, I, don't, I didn't see that either. As um, I have a question mark above yeah. my head right now. Nichols is like, what? what? He's, he, yeah, that's a, bad, that's a bad call by the referee. Yeah, that wasn't a good call. So at the free throw line is number 20, Jason Hall. And Jason missed the first free throw attempt. Yeah, yeah. Viking Nichols to me for Brockton is looking like the best player so far in this game so far. Him alongside with Navon Reed, he's just been looking out terrific. Yeah, he's both been, uh, both ends of the floor. Yeah, he's been a beast on the boards. <laughs> Todd goes in, out to the corner. Biddle goes drives to the paint, lays it up and in. Nice. 43-22, boxes in the corner. Back outside, long three, no good. Rebound, Hilltoppers. Jason in the paint, Ooh. and he drives and is fouled. But I tell you, Durfee is really working for their points. Yeah, as we said, that the bodies of Brockton, a little bit too big. Against Durfee, a little bit too big. Yeah, they're having a tough time getting off a good shot. But Jason did a nice job driving to the basket and getting the foul. And his first free throw attempt is good. <laughs> Thank you, bro. One of the referees came over and gave me a compliment on my uh, Jordans. Yes, the Jordans. Those are um, these are the um, the Columbia Elevens, right? The, I know they're Air Jordans. Yeah. My, my son got them for me. <laughs> oh, sh nice driving. Todd Robinson is fouled. Yeah, Todd Robinson will go to the line. Yeah, those are actually the Jordan Elevens. Yeah. Jordan Elevens. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta help me here. I'm old school. I just yeah, like yeah. the way they look. Like, yeah, they're nice shoes.
Nice free throw attempt, he makes it. Yeah, Todd Robinson, he also get into sports management in his life, so it's a pretty, pretty good career for him. Robinson makes his second free throw attempt. Robinson's got a nice, um, nice, um, just can't think of the word, but style up there at the free throw line. He's got a nice shot. Yeah, it's very smooth. Yeah. Oh, shot is good inside. Jason Hall, the sophomore. Robinson in the corner to Biddle. Back out in the paint. Little floater, no good. Nichols. And Nichols makes the offensive rebound and gets it in for two. As you said, you said it earlier, uh, Miles, Nichols's Nichols's rebounding presence is huge. Yeah, he, he's a beast offensive offensively as well as defensively. Yeah. And with 3.56 left in this third quarter, it's a 47-25 boxer lead. And Durfee will take it out. Jason. Long three, it's no good. Rebound, Hilltoppers. Follows the shot and lays it back and in. 47-27. Boxers with a 20-point lead. Long three. Off the rim. And Starks gets the rebound. And he is fouled. Starks was her quickly harassed by the corner. Yeah, he had, against Durfee, yes. he had two Durfee Hilltoppers came over to trap him and one of them fouled him. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's always smart for the defense to trap at the corner, always yes. smart in basketball. And Jason Starks was smart enough to, uh, in case the whistle wasn't blown, to, to throw it off one of the defensive players. Biddle inside, and it'll be blocked by the Hilltoppers. So it'll be box of ball with three minutes, 10 seconds left in this third quarter. Navon Reed drives hard oh, and wow. he is fouled. Just too athletic for the, uh, the big man underneath, number zero, Ariel. Yeah, but the foul's called on Jaden Lewis, number five. Looked like more body by the big man for Hilltoppers. And we're gonna get some substitutions for the boxers. Nice job by the Hilltoppers come down and get a fairly easy shot. Yeah, Jaden Lewis, great game so far today. They got in the corner, Jason Stark, long Ooh, bomb, wow. and he is fouled on the shot. So, yeah. so he'll get a three-point foul there. Wow, that was a big foul. That was Ariel Pereira, number zero for Durfee. You know, when a big man falls, like what, what makes you think you're gonna get up there? You're a big man. You're gonna get up there with the guard and um, block that shot. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of didn't know what he was thinking on that. Yeah. On that foul there. Should have, should have at least put his hand up to. Yeah. The, put your hand up, but you, you, you the go ball. right at him and then knock him down. Starks with his second free throw attempt is good. And he misses his third free throw attempt. I'm not sure why he's. Yeah, I think this is the fourth shot. Mm, I'm a little, I'm a little. Yeah, I yeah. Guess. Oh. And he I makes his. Maybe we, I thought he missed his first, but it. Anyway, it's 50 to 29 with two minutes 50, 43 seconds left in this third quarter. Boxes with a commanding lead.
Boxers with their second team in there. And they're going to call travel. travel, yeah. And number five, Jason, looks a little confused, but he, if he's, we can show him on the uh, video monitor here. He traveled. Yes, he did. Oh, the Hilltoppers are in a 3-2 zone. Interesting. And Shot is partially blocked oh. by number 23 for the Hilltoppers, Jerriel Rivera. Jerry was a senior, I'm mean, excuse me, a junior. Oh, nice job by Korea. And I think he was fouled. The box will take it out from underneath. Korea. Ooh, inside, nice pass to um, Bento, and he makes it. Nice passing there by the boxers. Big man goes inside, takes the shot, miss, block. Ooh, wow. Goes back up again, wow. is fouled by Bento. Let's see if that shot is good. Yes, it is shot good. is good. So uh, the big man will have a chance to Ariel. Piero will shoot a free throw, a chance for three points here. Yeah, the boxes with four fouls in this half, and Derpy with five. So let's see, let's see how the, let's see how that builds up for the for the remaining quarters. For the remaining quarter, and they're gonna call travel on uh, Noah Alowu. Box is pressing hard, nice job. Stolen by number 31. Alowu makes up for the travel along. Bob nice. is good. Starks with the three from downtown. Nice shot by Dacian Starks. He just loves the three ball. That's his game, he just loves the three point shot. 55-32. 20 point boxer lead. Excuse me, more than 20 points, 23 points taken by the boxes, and here they come. Alowu goes in, nice and strong, misses the shot. Zenden with the rebound. Nice, oh, wow. nice inside pass, but Bento, one of the few times he couldn't handle it underneath. Let's see if we can have the replay, yeah, the Jason, long bomb from downtown. Yeah, Jason Starks on his follow through was good. Good shot. <coughs> Uh, Raymond Bezo got to hold on to the ball. And they're going to call foul. Yeah, foul on Olu a bit, a bit tempered up a bit. Hello, the Starks. Inside, open, easy two. Nice. You can't get no easier than that, folks, right there. Isaac Lane right underneath, nobody covering him. Serious breakdown of defense there by the Hilltoppers. So it'll be Hilltoppers ball. Good defense by the uh, boxes. The second team looking a lot better coming in this time than they did in that early in that first half. Yes, they do. They do look a lot better. They kind of found themselves a bit. Yeah, look more comfortable. Martinez loses it. Here comes Zenden. Goes oh. for the drive and just misses it off the boards. Oh, oh no. To Bento, nice okay. pass by Zenden. And there's a player down for the Hilltoppers. Look like he twisted his ankle and he's oh. in pain. So Damn. Jerry, our trainer, will go out and see how he's doing. He looks like he's in extreme pain right now. So with 18 seconds left, both teams will go to the sideline while the, the BH, BHS trainer, Miss Jerry, will check the Hilltopper out. 
make sure he's okay. But he looks like he's really in pain. Wow. With that, maybe twist an ankle, most likely. And like I was saying, uh, Chris, the second team, excuse me, the second team this um, in this half looks a lot more comfortable playing defense and playing offense against this Hilltopper team. Yeah, you know, you know what it is? I love I love the playmaking they're doing. A lot of great assists. They're, they're exposing the zone defense by Durfee. They're just doing an excellent job, this Brockton, off, Brockton Boxes offense. Yeah, you said it right there. They're exposing what the Hilltoppers are playing as far as on defense, yeah. doing a much better job, yeah, and that's good job. to see. And fans and players give the Durfee Hilltopper player a, a hand as he's carried off the court. That's number 23, Jeriel Rivera, coming off. And he's going to take a seat in obvious pain. So with 18 seconds left in this third quarter, the um, Hilltoppers will take it out of bounds from underneath the basket. And one of the assistant coaches I believe that's Emmanuel DeBarros comes out and wipes up some sweat. You know, this this isn't uh, Boston Garden where you got, they pay guys to come out yeah. and wipe the sweat off yeah, the basketball exactly, court. Yeah, exactly. And he is smothered, stolen. Oh. Oh, nice. nice. Jams it home. Wow, that was a great save by Noah Olu to set up Zendin. Nice. Nice. nice save and a nice dunk by the big man, Zendin Korea. And that ends the third quarter on a high note for this second squad. A 61 commanding 32 lead. Uh, yeah, and you'll see it right here, folks. Play here. Noah Olua saves it out of bounds. Noah Olua and Zendin Korea on the one hand, one-legged slam, that's really good. Really Jams good. it home. So again, Brockton's defense is just overpowering uh, the Hilltoppers this evening, no matter who's in there. Um, the, Hill, the Hilltoppers just don't have a chance. Yeah, exactly. They don't have a chance. And Miles, can you tell me what ranking Brockton is in the state again? Well, I heard they're um, just barely in the top 20. Wow. Um, I don't know why, but they're four and one coming into this game. And when I look at the the rankings, I look at some of these smaller town teams higher than the boxes. But you know that's fine. It's early in the season, Chris. Um, I'm sure the boxes will slowly move up if they keep playing team ball, great defense, because defense will get you to wins, because defense creates offense, and that's what will help you get climb up the ladder to the top. Right now, it's no big deal, because it's still early in the season, um, but as the season goes along, I'm sure they'll climb up a little bit higher. Yeah, exactly. Be, so Brockton, yeah, Brockton will look good towards the end of the season, as they do now. They're looking excellent now with a 4-1 yeah. record, yeah. And as, as the season progresses, the, key, the teams get a little tougher because as all high school teams, they have to get familiar with each other as the season go on, and they get better. Yeah, exactly. And this is, and this is a divisional rival. so Right. Yeah. Like you said, they're in the Southeast Conference. Yes. Mm -hmm. Which is a new conference um, worked out by um, the high school basketball, MIAA. Yeah, the conference is consists of Brockton High, Durfee, New Bedford, Dartmouth, and Bridgewater Rainham. So yeah, so five close cities. Yeah. yeah, and most of those teams are Brockton rivals. You know, uh, Bridgewater Rainham, New Bedford, Durfee here. No love lost between these teams. Yeah, no love lost at all. So we, we will begin the fourth quarter, eight minutes on the clock. Boxes with a commanding lead. You see it there on your screen. And the second team starts off the fourth quarter. Starks with the long three, no good, rebound Zenden. Long three, in and out, Zen, uh, Bait Bento gets the rebound, puts it back up. It's missed, but he gets the foul. So good offensive board again by the Boston. They've been doing that all day. 
with the boards offensively as well as defensively. Yeah. And if you can control the boards, you basically should be controlling the on the score. Yeah, rebounds really equals wins. That's what that's really what it matters. If you if you're at rebounding the other team, you're, you're technically winning. Yeah, team rebounding is really pretty much very the, important. More, the most important, one most of the most important statistics. Exactly. Yeah. If you can control the boards, you can control the most likely you can control the outcome of the um, basketball game. Foxes do, I mean, excuse me, Durfee gets it in. Jaden Lewis brings it over half court. Foxes with a 30 point lead. Inside drive is no good. Nice defense by Zenden Korea. Awahu makes oh, the nice. shot and is fouled. Alohu will go to the free throw line to make a three point play. See on the replay here, this nice play. And Olu in nice offensive mindset. Yep. Take it to the basket, protected the ball, kept with it away body. from the defender. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. That's the key right there, Chris. Protected the basketball with his body, exactly. like you said. Yes. Mm -hmm. Shot is missed, but Bento gets the offensive boards and puts it in for an easy two. Yeah, Raymond, Raymond Bento's having a good game, eight points He's, so he's far. having a good game because he knows his his – his job, what he has to do out there is a big man. Yeah. Protect the paint and get the rebounds on both ends. Yeah, I can tell you figured it out since the beginning of the season. I can tell. He's doing a good job so far this season. Long bomb by Jason is good. Gets it off. Rainbow three. Stocks in the corner. Across. Zenden wants to take the three. Good! Wow. The big man. He can dunk. He can hit the three. But we'd rather see him hit more threes than, I mean, excuse me, dunk more than yeah, um, exactly. hit those three mm -hmm. point shots. Zenden with the steal. Looking for somebody, find Starks. He wants to take it. Shot is missed. Rebound Hilltoppers, and he's smothered. Stolen by Zenden. He's oh, pushed wow. and makes the shot. Zenden Kerr, wow, everywhere. He's Zenden everywhere. with the steal, and he is pushed but makes the shot. Chance for a three point play for Zenden Korea. Yeah, you saw a smile come off his face. Yeah, he deserves a smile. Yeah, him and Stocks made a nice trap play there on uh, the Hilltoppers. Yeah. Yeah, he's a senior. He's a, he should be looking on to bigger and better things. He's doing just an outstanding kid right there. A little spin move. And they're going to call a foul on uh, Isaac Lane. Isaac Lane, a junior. And jump ball. Good good defensive play there by the boxers. Coach had to tell Durfee, uh, you guys got the ball. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Inside. Stolen by the boxes. A low oh. of Isaac puts it up, miss. Bento there. In and out. And they're going to call a foul on Bento. A little too aggressive. Yeah, that's, 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 his okay. that's his nature. He yep. loves to be aggressive. That's okay. 72. 35, you see it on the screen. Foxes with a commanding lead. With five minutes, 45 seconds left in this ball game. Long three is no good. Bento with the defensive boards. Back come the boxes. Zenden fakes it, drives in, dishes it off the stocks. And he has to give it to um, Korea back in there to Isaac inside the Starks and he is blocked. Good defense by the Hilltoppers.
Inside he drives, no good. Great defense by Bento. Nice. Oh, oh, nice defense. I don't think Isaac knew he was there. He did not know. Clean block by Elijah Coleman, number 35. <laughs> so we're gonna get some subs in. As uh, Nicholas comes in, along with uh, Xavier. And uh, that's it. Yeah, Noah, Noah Olawu and um, Jason Sachs will stay. Coach really liked what he saw from them. Number 31 and number 10. Shot is missed, good defense by Nichols. And Durfee loses the ball because of that strong boxer defense. corner to Isaac and he is fouled it was not a shooting foul but I believe we're one on one we're in a one on one situation oh yeah so oh yeah Durfee's, uh, Durfee's above the penalty so yeah so, Bra so Bracken should be going to the line often yep Isaac's at the line Isaac Lane Second free throw attempt is good. Yeah, Isaac Lane with 10 points. A big game for him so far. Big game. The drive, try to get it to the inside man, but stolen by the boxes. Starks. Little, oh, whoa! He got Jason got a little They fancy. tried to lob and it just missed. Oh. And the shot is good. The lob pass was to Xavier, I believe. Yes, yes and he just quite, the ball wasn't quite up high yeah, enough. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't. And actually, the, the rim blocked his uh, dunk yes, it did. attempt. Had the crowd oohing and on. Yes. I tell you, the crowd would have jumped, went crazy if he would have made that. that crazy, if they would have yeah. made that play there. A, a big crowd so far tonight, so far. Free throw attempt is made, so he made his three-point play. 74-38, four minutes left in this ball game. Long bomb by Starks is oh, no wow. good. Wow, J.D. Lewis stole the ball from wow, Michael Nichols. that was wow. a strong rebound. Oh, just went right past, coast to coast, gets the two. Ooh, lost by... Uh, by Alowu, and they make the two. Yeah, back-to-back -back baskets for Fall River. Yeah, 74-42. In the corner, and they're gonna call travel. You gotta put that ball on the court before you really move like that. Jason Starks, he'll get a he'll get a breather. He, he's had a great game so far. He has great game, five points. And but some good, good defense. Yeah, good defense as well. And good assists. He's played like you said. He's played a good game all around game. But coming off the bench. Long three is no good. Isaac Lane with the rebound. Long pass in the corner, cross court. Shot inside is Trent good. Biddle. Biddle going in strong. Was That's not going to be denied. Was not going to be denied. That's one of his specialties is driving to the basket and scoring at smoothly and, and eg elegantly. Nice, nice basket for Trenton Biddle. Drive to the basket and it'll be a foul. 
on Nichols. There was a body contact. That's what the coaches call, uh, referees calling body contact. So foul. That's the price sometimes when you're a big, big man in the paint. Exactly, just draw the foul on him, yeah. You know, you put any of that body, they're gonna call that foul. It's a little unfortunate too. It's unfortunate, but that's just the way it goes when you got some mass on you. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, the box has wrapped up the game. Two minutes and 30 seconds left. Yeah, it should be a, a great W against a rival, and they should be happy with themselves. Yeah, they, they sh they coach should be happy with the play of his team. Again, especially on the boards. They just control the boards all all evening. Here is Staff Gymnasium. Long three is good. Wow. Nicely by Vanilton Xavier on the yes, corner. Yes, yes. He did not hesitate. Yeah, he kind of redeemed himself from the last couple of plays he had earlier in this game. Jason spins, puts it up. Tough shot, no good. Blocked by the uh, boxes. And it's gonna be taken out by uh, the Hilltoppers. Great defense again by the boxes. Wow. Wow. I don't know what happened there, but he didn't get not, was no foul. Isaac Lane Isaac drives Lane. to the lane, through the lane, in the lane, and good for two. Less than two minutes to go in this ball game. Fox has got this one wrapped up, folks. Jason stops, pops off the glass and in. The, the sophomore. Xavier tries again, in and out. If he would have followed the shot, he would have had yeah, the rebound. Yeah, the follow through was very bad. Good, good, good away, good, good call, Miles. Yeah. Back come the boxes. Isaac drives in the lane and oh. just misses it. Biddle gets it out top to Xavier. Back to Biddle. Stops and pops. Good. Oh, wow. Wow. Confident shot, Trenton Biddle. Confident. Stops and pops, I believe, for a three-point play there. Seven points for Biddle today. So we got 42 seconds and counting. Hilltop is just killing time. And he calls for uh, traveling. That's number 22 in there, getting a little playing time. John Karam, a senior. Biddle, and he's gonna be fouled, so he'll go to the free throw line. Wow, wow, Biddle really re revived his game today. Struggled early on with, with some turnovers, some awkward passes, but he's, he's looked, he really rebounded it, good. Yeah, he had a good second good. half here. Great second half, yes. Good form at the free throw line for Biddle too. He's a he's a he's a fun offensive yeah. player to watch. That was the term I was looking for form, like a, a Todd Robinson. Yeah. He's got good form yeah. mm -hmm. at the free throw line, along with Biddle. And that's what you need from these shooters when in crunch time when they get fouled, because free throws are so critical in close games. So 13 seconds and counting. Hilltop is just gonna let the time run out. They know it's over. Boxes know it's over. Five seconds. And there you see the score, folks. 86-44, the boxes come out on top here at Staff Gymnasium this Friday evening against one of their conference um, foes, the Durfee Hilltoppers. Yeah. And Chris, tell me about it. Wow, this game was just a, a heroic performance by the boxes. They look, they look lethal. I mean, what about about a good six guys in double figures? This this was an unbelievable game, unbelievable game. I, I do you know, who, Miles? Who would you give the game ball to? Who would you give the game ball to? You know, I, I would give the game ball to. Um, I would give it to. I'd share it with. Um, 
we see here. Navon and um, Todd Robinson, those two guys really set the tone. Navon with his athleticism. Wow. Okay. Um, Todd Robinson with his with his leadership at, at the guard position. It was really a team game, but like you're game. asking me to name a few of the top players. And those two guys really set the tone early on in this basketball it, game for it, the boxers. Yeah, and I'll name some players to argue with you. Raymond Bentzel, Trenton Biddle, Zenon Carrera, Viking Nichols. Jason Starks. Yeah, they all had yeah, good they games. They all had good games. This is a and, great, and great it was, game. It was nice to see the, the, the second string come out again. They came out a little slow, but they came on in that um, second half to really um, show their stuff coming off the bench. Yeah, the second string has really finished the job for Brockton. All right, there you have it, folks. Another box win. They improved the 5-1. and one. I'm Miles Jackson along with Chris Bazil. We'll see you next time at the home um, play of um, the Brockton Boxes. Good night, everyone. <laughs>